This house really has two master suites. In 2003, yeah, Connecticut residents Tammy and Mario Pereira built a home to accommodate multiple generations of their family. It has separate spaces for Tammy's father and her adult sister, plus room for their son and daughter. Family is what life is all about. You have soccer practice tonight? They had wanted to buy an existing home, but couldn't find one that met their needs. Ten years later, they have plenty of company. 50 million Americans live in multi generational homes, just like the Pereiras, and many want homes that fit their expanded families. Now, builders are trying to provide them. In Marana, just north of Tucson, we met Alan Jones. He's with Lennar Homes. I mean, if you came up to this home standing right here, looking at the home, you would think this home was no different than any other home. But it is. Just off the main entrance, a second door leads to an apartment built under the same roof. All right, Trump is red. Which was part of the appeal for retired school teacher Tom Moser and his father Lee. So you're right down the hall, Lee. Yeah, this real close right here. Uh -huh. So we only we don't even lock the door. <laughs> <laughs> you trust him that much, huh? Yeah, I trust him. Tom moved into this 3,100 square foot home with his wife Kristen last year. His father Lee moved in too to the separate but connected apartment. We have our separate places. He has a kitchen, he has a garage, he has laundry facilities, and yet we're connected. So there's independence, and yet we can see each other when we choose to. And close proximity was critical a few months ago when 82 year old Lee returned from a night of bowling white as a sheet. So I called the doctor, they did an EKG, he needed a pacemaker. So by living close by and doing things more together, I think I was on top of it. So that felt good. Now, now you're stronger than ever. Yeah, I just thought it was growing old and you're just getting a little bit tired. And I wouldn't have done nothing if he didn't push it. Can you give some to Grandma? The family liked the idea so much, Lee's daughter Diane, Tom's sister, moved in next door. Her in laws took the separate apartment. We've committed to our families and we want to be there more for them, and this is what we choose to do. And the arrangement let the family avoid a difficult choice. Bye, Grandpa. Bye. Bye 90 year old TW, diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease in 2006, is now able to stay with his family and his wife of 70 years, Millie. So, what's that like for you, Millie, to know that your husband now, instead of going into a facility, was able to be here with you. Oh, he loved it. He loved being with the grandkids, the little grandkids, wow. just make his day. All right, thank you. Multi generational homes like these range from $200,000 to $400,000, but can save families money. They maintain one home instead of two. And Diane and Millie Weeks believe living under the same roof did something else, too. Are you just as close as you were before, or are you closer now after moving into a house together? They closer, don't you think? I think so. The big girl. Big girl, yes, yes. The big girl.